When staking in the tree, it's important to consider whether or not you have deer in your area. If you have deer, you're probably going to want to put up three stakes rather than two and wrap it with deer fencing to protect the young growth from deer browse. We use a pole driver or stake pounder to drive our stakes into the ground, but you can use a mallet or sledgehammer if you choose. Just be careful not to swing too much above your head. Drive your stake in about a foot into the ground. You want the top of it to be somewhere between your chin and your heart and to have no or to very little wiggle. Look for tree stakes at local hardware or gardening supply stores. You can even use things like tomato stakes or sharpened branches from trees in your area. After you've driven your stakes in, you should tie your tree to, to at least two of these stakes. Since the tree hasn't established roots yet, it's going to need some training wheels to keep it from blowing over in major storms. We use tree tie, which we order, but you can also use twine or light string. Just make sure that you don't leave it on the tree for over a year, or else the tree can start growing around the, the, the twine itself. We take our tree tie and do one loop around the back of a tree stake and then two overhand knots in the front. As long as your tree is secure though, you can tie it however you like. We also like to add a staple for extra security. Make sure to not tie the tie too tight either. You don't want the tree to become reliant on the tree tie for stability and make sure that it sends roots out all around. Again, make sure you take the tree tie off after one year of planting. In order to protect from deer, we also add deer fencing or gardener's fencing around our stakes. We attach the gardener's fencing at the top of one stake with either chain lock, tie, or a stable, and then wrap it around the other two stakes back to the first one. This will help keep the deer from browsing and damaging the branches and leaves of the tree. Certain trees are more susceptible to deer browsing or foraging than others, so be sure to research what type of tree you planted before deciding whether to uh, install deer fencing. <clears throat> Finally, we like to add a small length of mower guard to the bottom of the tree trunk. This isn't a necessary piece of equipment for your tree, but we do it because our trees are generally planted in public spaces with public mowers. So this will protect it from any potential weed whacker or mower damage. When it comes to mowing around your tree, try to stay around the mulch ring and keep away from the trunk as long as possible. You may need to lift up your deer fence and cut some of the weeds and grasses that grow in there by hand. Make sure to pull all weeds and grasses from around the mulch ring within the first year so that the tree has little competition when trying to establish its roots. <laughs>